Hi, welcome to my video on the Stoop Tig Floaty Grip Handle. This floaty grip handle cost me $10.99 from Amazon UK. Quickly go around the box, and as you can see, we have the picture of the floaty grip handle itself with a action camera on top. And this floaty grip handle is suitable for all types of action cameras as long as you've got the GoPro mount or fingers that can mount to this. So we have that on the front of the box, nothing on the sides. On the back of the box, we just have the handle itself. And then on the other side, we just have the words Stoop Tig. And this is how the actual floaty grip handle looks like. And this is what you get in the box, the actual floaty grip handle itself. You get a thumb screw, which is plastic, not a metal thumb screw, only the Threading is metal, so you get one of those in the box. And you also get a lanyard. Start with the top of the handle and work to the bottom. Now at the top here, we have some GoPro fingers mount here. So your typical standard GoPro can fit onto this. And if you're using other action cameras that have the GoPro fingers, built into the case of it you can use it now if you've got a camera that doesn't have gopro fingers you may have to buy an adapter um, to place it onto this handle stated before we have the thumb screw here which you get with it the gopro fingers mount and we have this closed nut here on this side the whole entire unit is made of plastic with a nice rubber grippy handle it's not dimpled but it has this kind of matte textured um, effect to this handle and then we come to the bottom where we have a loop for your lanyard which you can attach and at the very bottom we have a quarter inch screw thread which you can see on the b-roll you can able to place feet on there uh, tripod legs on there or you can place if you want a carabiner that has a quarter inch screw thread because the unique thing with this floaty hand grip is we have a compartment now with some floaty hand grips you don't have a compartment at all you cannot able to screw off the bottom but with this you have a large compartment inside so you can store things like your rings not watches because I don't think it's that big to actually store a watch. I've tried storing my Apple watch in there and it doesn't fit in there um, whatsoever. And that is the 38 millimeter one or the 40 millimeter one to some others that can't be fitted in there at all. But um, you, as I said, you can store money and all the valuables in there. No problem. Now, as for the actual bottom itself, as you can see, there is a rubber gasket around the whole of the bottom here so it helps to keep water out from this chamber simply screw the bottom on and that's it so everything that you place in there will be watertight in there no water would leak into this whatsoever now you can get this in various colors such as a yellow the orange itself a green and a blue my suggestion is try and stick with the yellow and the orange. The green, you can, it's kind of like a luminous green, but I'd avoid the blue, especially if you are taking this out on the sea, I'd just avoid the blue. If you're gonna be mainly using it around pools and rivers and etc., like that, or closed bodies of water like that, you can probably get away with the blue. Now, the actual length from the bottom to the top or top to the bottom, is seven inches the actual length of the actual rubber part of this floaty hand grip is five inches the actual across measurement I don't think it's the diameter but actually across measurement measures an inch and a half across as for the wrist lanyard this has a nice loop at the end so you can attach it to the loop on the actual floaty hand grip that's made of plastic and this nylon material here, and it also has an adjustment 
clip. As you can see, it needs an actual clip, snap down clip, so you can adjust it to your size of your wrist. Now, being that the actual thickness of this is an inch and a half of this floaty hand grip, it does feel quite good in the hand. And some people may like the actual texture of this floaty hand grip more than the dimple effect that others do have. So it does feel quite substantial in the hand and quite thick. And being that it's made of plastic, it does feel quite light in the hand. The only weight that you do feel is from the camera that you attach to it at the top. Now, I think for the price of 10.99, it's not a bad floaty hand grip from Stoop Tig. Now I did show another Stoop Tig floaty hand grip, which had a dome on the top, so you can place your camera with inside the dome which gives it a kind of half and half effect when going on the, um, when you're in the water, between the water and the air. This handle is quite similar to that handle, but with that handle, it was, I think it's a lot thinner than this one. It wasn't the same thickness. So all in all, this is quite a very good handle for its price. Now, this is my two pence worth on the Stoop Tig Floaty Grip handle. Now I ain't gonna do positives and negatives because there's not much negatives about these at all. It's mainly just positive. If you're looking for a uh, floaty grip handle at a reasonable price of 10.99, you can't go wrong with Stoop Tig. Stoop Tig, as you know, um, do make floaty grip handles and action poles and also selfie sticks. <laughs> I'm not with it today, folks. And they're quite good products. As I said, this one is well built. There is a kind of seam you can see that obviously it's two pieces of plastic in the molding um, put together and glued, but it doesn't look that bad whatsoever than other floaty grip handles where the seam is absolutely the prominent thing, more prominent than the actual um, texture of the handle itself. Now, the whole entire thing without the camera does weigh 87 grams, just in case you are wondering. I like how it has the feel in my hand with this, as I stated before, one and a half inches across in thickness. It does feel quite substantial in the hand. It is made of a good quality plastic, not as good as the GoPro handler, but considering that the handler is twice the price of this coming in at 19.99 in the UK, this is not bad for its price. What this does have over the GoPro handler is with the GoPro handler, you have to have a buckle mount to place on the top, then to put your um, GoPro fingers on to hold the camera. With this, you don't, you obviously get the finger mount at the top straight away. And the one thing the handler does not do, which this does quite well, is the compartment inside. So you can screw the bottom off and store things in the compartment. My overall opinion about the Stoop Tig Floaty Grip Handle is, it is a very good product for its price. To me, much worthwhile better, much worthwhile better, oh, much better. <laughs> I tell you folks, I am not with it today than the GoPro handler, much better than that at half the cost. Now, if you happen to have the Stoop Tig floaty grip handle, please let us know in the comment section below what your opinion is, because your opinion is different to my opinion. So please let us know. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. I perfectly understand my videos can be long, but I like to go into detail to save you to trouble of when you buy the product, you know what to expect. So that's why my videos are long. Um, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.